Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the realization of OR gates using diodes and transistors. Here, the logic gates like OR gate, AND gate and any type of gate can be designed using the discrete components like diodes or transistors. Okay, diode alone cannot act. Diode and uh, uh, with help of diode and resistor or transistor and resistor we can design. That means the basic gates can be designed can be designed with discrete components discrete components so basic gates can be designed with discrete components like and or nat not gate universal gates or exclusive or gates all these gates can be designed using this so if you are using a diode, diode plus resistor we have to use. Okay, diode alone cannot act. So that's why diode plus resistor. Another one, resistor plus transistor. Okay, this is another type of realization. Using transistors we can design. So if we are using diode and resistor alone, then this logic is a diode logic level the your logic realization okay and resistor transistors we are using rtl resistor transistor logic resistor transistor logic if you are using diode alone that is diode logic okay diode plus resistor that will come in this configuration okay now we know already r gate is nothing but the symbolic representation of two input r gate is this one we have already seen in the previous video how the symbolic representation and what are the how many switches we are using and how to act so we are having two switches here these are the two switches this is the switch a and this is switch b whenever we are having a switch definitely there is a control on this particular switch switch is nothing but here a discrete component diode or a transistor can be acting as a switch so if you are having a diode or transistor definitely we can have a control on this so the inputs a and b are a switch the output to both of these are connected to a single point okay if any one input is there that particular input is going through the switch whenever switch is closed what happens immediately the input will be connected to the output okay one input is sufficient to get the output logic one okay so in this way this is the standard representation of a R gate now let us see how to realize the same R gate using diode logic see this is a diode logic representation of representation of r gate representation of the r gate see clearly if you invert these diodes and the resistor is connected to vcc then it will be acting as and gate Okay, so diodes must be connected in forward biased condition like P type at the input side and N type at the output side. Here also for the second case, how many number of inputs are there that many diodes we can connect here in parallel connection like this. Okay, so A is connected to the first diode, B is to the second diode and so on. How many N number of inputs we have, that many diodes we have to use with that many inputs. <coughs> n terminal of all these diodes must be connected together and taken output so this is the resistor we are taking that resistor as a load resistor okay let us consider let us consider a and b let us take the truth table of this one okay i hope you know the truth table truth table is nothing but truth table is nothing but it is a combination of the inputs combination of the inputs so output this is the output now let us consider a is at low level b is at low level here low is nothing but 0 volts high is nothing but 5 volts low is nothing but 0 volts high volt level is nothing but 5 volts so low low that means a b both are zeros diode diodes are in off state because diode should have a cut in voltage of 0 0.7 or 0 0.3 volts in order to switch on 
okay the voltage difference between p to n must be 0.3 or 0.6 volts then the diode comes into on state but here the low voltage means 0 volts we are giving here other side we also we are having 0 volts so diode is on is simply off so simply the output is also low now consider the second case low for a and high for b so low for a high for b so as b is connected to 5 volts high voltage is nothing but 5 volts then the potential difference between either sides of this diode p type and n type then it will be some 5 volts that makes the diode to on so when diode is in on state automatically the current flows through this one and goes to the output then the resistance takes the same current let it be current i b let it be current i b because if it is because it is coming from the b source this current and this resistance so i b into r l will give you the output voltage it will be approximately equal to your plus 5 volts because there is no obstacle there is no any other component in between these two that's why whatever the voltage we are delivering here the entire voltage will be appeared across the resistance r l so it will be 5 volts the output is nothing but Similar is the case with when A is applied with high and B is with low, here also high. And similarly when both are high, when both are high, similarly what happens when both are high, the combination of current flows through this one and it is also high. So in this way, the operation of the diode logic can be explained. Here diode and resistance, okay, diode resistance logic you can say or simply diode logic we can say. So this is the diode realization for this OR gate. Now coming to transistor realization. So using transistors, transistor realization. So how transistors are made? It is nothing but resistor transistor logic. Resistor transistor logic, RTL OR gate. We can say resistor transistor logic OR gate. Here we have how many number of inputs are there that many transistors should be connected along with one more transistor in parallel with all these okay let us consider two input or gate these two inputs or, or gates are applied with two transistors so this is the input a and this is input b this input this one these two are connected to ground along with these two we should also have another transistor to invert the output to invert the output see here this is plus vcc from third transistor collector terminal we are taking the output let it be some y and these two are connected at this node this node input output is connected as input for the third transistor now let us see the operation what happens and what is the necessity of third transistor also i will explain see let us consider a b and y as a truth table so in the similar case we have already taken for the diode similarly here also low low when both the inputs are low low diodes are simple transistors are simply off state because off low means zero volts that will not make the junction by here junction is there base and emitter and this is collector this base to emitter should have a minimum of 0 0.6 volts for silicon and uh, a minimum of 0 0.3 volts for germanium if we have that voltage then the transistor comes into on state but here we have low voltage here also low voltage so this this one these two transistors are in simply off state when both the transistors are in off state whatever the voltage we are giving vcc that is completely appeared at this particular point okay the output of this vcc is connected at the input of the third transistor then what happens third transistor comes into on state 
third transistor comes into on state and output becomes zero output becomes zero because as the transistor is in on state maximum current flows through this transistor and there is no voltage drop across this transistor low high see the purpose of third transistor is when there is no third transistor if you are taking the output at this particular node simply it is output as uh, output gives as high okay that means it is opposite action of the original or gate nothing but nor operation when this particular third transistor is not there then this network first two transistors network is acting as a nor gate hope you understand okay so low high then the second transistor is in on state when it is in on state one transistor is sufficient to make the entire network on so it is on output is zero so this output is given to the second third transistor third transistor comes into off state so output becomes high the same thing with other two cases also okay that means if any one of the transistors in the first two is on then that makes the third transistor off so entire output will be appeared vcc from the output okay so this is the realization of or gate using transistors and as well as diodes okay the same table if you just take normal general notation like a b and output y then 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 one this is the combination combination is nothing but 2 power 2 power n 2 power n number of combinations are there in digital logic the number of inputs n that gives 2 power n number of combinations n is nothing but number of inputs here number of inputs is 2 so 2 power 2 it gives four combinations <coughs> 0 1 1 1 this is the truth table of or gate okay so this is about diode logic and as well as transistor realization rtl and dl thank you